Welcome back. In this lecture, we will be discussing the importance of setting up and tracking content marketing metrics to measure the effectiveness of your content marketing efforts and optimize your strategy. First, why is it important to set up and track content marketing metrics? There are a few key reasons. The first reason why it's important is to understand the effectiveness of your content marketing efforts. By tracking and measuring your content marketing metrics, you can see which content is performing well and which is not. This information is crucial in optimizing your content marketing strategy and allocating resources more effectively. Another reason to track your content marketing metrics is to improve your return on investment. By understanding the ROI of your content marketing efforts, you can determine which tactics are most effective in driving revenue and allocate your resources accordingly. Finally, tracking and analyzing your content marketing metrics can help you identify opportunities for improvement. You can use the data to make data-driven decisions and find areas where you can improve your content marketing efforts. Now. We're talking about the different types of content marketing metrics that you should be tracking. The first category of metrics is awareness metrics. These metrics measure the reach and visibility of your content, such as website traffic, social media followers, and email subscribers. These metrics can give you insight into how many people are seeing your content and how it is performing in terms of reach. The second category is engagement metrics. These metrics measure how your audience interacts with your content, such as likes, comments, and shares. These metrics can help you understand how your audience is responding to your content and how well it is resonating with them. The third category is conversion metrics. These metrics measure how your content drives conversions, such as leads generated or sales. These metrics can give you a better understanding of the impact of your content on your business goals and help you identify which content is most effective in driving conversions. The final category is ROI metrics. These metrics measure the financial return on your content marketing efforts, such as revenue generated or cost per lead. These metrics can help you understand the overall ROI of your content marketing efforts and determine which tactics are most effective in driving revenue. In addition to these four categories, there are many other metrics that you may want to consider tracking depending on your business goals and target audience. Some examples include time on page, bounce rate, or customer lifetime value. In this part, we're discussing how to determine which metrics are most important for your business or organization. The first factor to consider is your business goals and target audience. Determine what you're trying to achieve with your content marketing efforts and which metrics will be most relevant and useful in measuring your progress toward those goals. The second factor is resources. Consider what resources you have available to track and measure your content marketing metrics and which metrics will be feasible to track given your resources. The third factor is your industry. Research industry benchmarks and considers which metrics are commonly used in your industry. This will help you understand how your content marketing efforts compare to your competitors and identify areas for improvement. Let's move to a new part and discuss how to set up tracking systems to measure your content marketing metrics the first step is to use analytics tools. There are many available, such as Google Analytics, HubSpot, and Moz, that allow you to track website traffic, engagement, conversions, and other metrics. The second step is to use social media analytics. Most social media platforms offer their own analytics tools that allow you to track engagement, reach, and other metrics for your social media content. The third step is to use email marketing tools, such as MailChimp or Constant Contact, that offer analytics to track email open rates, click-through rates, and other metrics. And the fourth step is to use custom tracking or LS. 
You can create custom tracking or LS to track the performance of your content on specific channels or campaigns. Now that you have set up your tracking systems, it's time to put your analytics tools to work. The first step is to set up goals and conversions. In your analytics tools, set up goals or conversions that reflect your content marketing objectives, such as website traffic, leads generated, or sales. This will allow you to track the progress towards these objectives and measure the ROI of your content marketing efforts. Once you have set up your goals, it's time to use segmentation. To break down your data by different criteria, such as traffic source, content type, or audience demographics, this can help you to better understand which content is performing well and which may need optimization. Next, you'll want to monitor key metrics such as website traffic, engagement, and conversions. This will help you see how your content marketing efforts are impacting your goals and objectives. Another great tool to use is a slash B testing. This allows you to compare the performance of different versions of your content and see which version is most effective finally. You can use analytics dashboards to visualize your data and make it easier to track and interpret your content marketing metrics and that's it. Now you have a roadmap to track and interpret your content marketing data so you can measure the ROI of your efforts and make informed decisions. Thank you for watching. In conclusion, setting up and tracking content marketing metrics is an essential part of a successful content marketing strategy. By understanding the different types of content marketing metrics and identifying which metrics are most important for your business or organization, you can set up tracking systems and use analytics tools to track and interpret your content marketing data. By regularly reviewing and analyzing your content marketing metrics, you can optimize your content marketing efforts and improve your ROI.